Hey, this is Kevin James from Here Comes the Boom, and I'm taking over MMA Live Extra this week. And uh, on the phone, phone or whatever it is, through the Internet, through the waves, it doesn't matter really, uh, in Sin City, ESPN.com, MMA Rider, we got Brett Okamoto here. What's up, Brett? I'm doing good, Kevin. It's great to have you with us. Let's just get right to it. Brett, we got UFC 153 right around the corner in Brazil, and uh, wanted to get your picks, man. Uh, who do you got, Anderson, the Spider Silva, or you got uh, Stefan Bonner in this one? Well, man, I'd love to pick the underdog, Stefan Bonner, in this fight, but Anderson Silva just has too many advantages. He's got the speed advantage, um, what he's able to do counter-striking, and this is just a tough style fight for Bonner. He's going to need to walk forward. He's going to need to get in close. Um, but he's not real good defensively, and I think that the speed advantage is going to play out to Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva is a phenomenal counter striker. I think Stefan Bonner is going to be walking into a lot of offense in this fight. It's kind of nice to walk into the octagon when everybody thinks you're just going to lose, in a way, right? I mean, it's, it takes at least it takes that pressure off you. Stefan Bonner has a lot of heart. We know that. He has a whole track record of putting on gutsy performances that could help him here. Um, but ultimately, I think uh, the physical disadvantages that he faces are too great. Uh, I like Anderson Silva to finish the fight. Uh, Brett, i got to ask you, too, about the return of uh, a big nod against Dave Herman. What, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, Antonio Nogueira getting back in the cage after nearly a year-long layoff. Last time he took a year-long layoff, he looked good. Yeah, you know, I started to think that he was looking old in fights against Randy Couture, against Cain Velasquez. He took a year off to get healthy, and it really benefited him. He came back, he looked good against Brennan Schaub. He was on his way to beating Frank Mir before that loss. Now it happens again, and... And Antonio Aguirre has been through a lot in his career. You think about the wars that he's been in, the travel that his body has undergone, the injuries, the training, the sparring, all of that stuff adds up. So now you're at a point in his career where a year-long layoff is a bit of a scary thing. But either way, I think he is equipped to handle Dave Herman. Dave Herman is a nice fighter. Um, he comes in and he'll challenge some heavyweights. But at the end of the day, Aguirre is just a much better technical fighter than Dave Herman. I expect him to look uh, to win the fight. But for me, it's about how impressive is he in this win. Um, and that'll, that'll determine a lot moving forward for Nogueira. What else stands out to you on the uh, card? Well, I think we got to keep an eye on this live heavyweight Glover Teixeira, right? He's only had one fight in the UFC, but already the hype train, train is very much behind this guy. Uh, Shogun Hua didn't want to fight him. Rashad Evans turned out a fight against him on short notice. Um, so uh, there's a lot of interest in this guy. Uh, I think that he will take care of business against Fabio Maldonado. Maldonado can be tricky. He throws a lot of combinations. Sometimes with those bigger fighters, they're only throwing one, two punches at a time. With Maldonado, you got to worry about the third, fourth, fifth punches coming at you. But at the end of the day, Teixeira is a pretty good athlete. I think he can take the fight to the ground if he needs to. Um, he's got heavy, heavy leather in both hands. I think he will win the fight. And then we're going to – the learning, learning curve for this guy – is going to be real steep because there's already a lot of interest to see him take on a top contender in the light heavyweight division. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of MMA Live Extra. For Brett Okamoto, I'm Kevin James. Make sure you, you check out Here Comes the Boom this weekend. Fight fans, you're going to love it. In the movie, I play a, a, a biology teacher that kind of lost his way, and our school is facing... Uh,